video disclaimer for all you gun snobs out there please do not take me seriously I'm just a regular dad try to stay out of trouble try to make it home to his family that is it okay with that let's move on the Phobos paddle holster you either love them or you hate them I personally love them as you can see I got two of these uh, there's a lot of videos about these out there already uh, but I have a slight difference on these two here. They both are made for revolvers. This one is made for the uh, Taurus 8538 Special, but it fits my Taurus 65 just fine. There's no wiggle. It's in there pretty securely. And when I first got it, I did have to sort of break it in to have it smoothly disengage the holster uh, when I needed to, but still have some form of retention to where I could still jump up and down, do jumping jacks, and, and the damn thing won't pop out of my uh, holster. What I got recently is this uh, the same Phobos holster, but for the uh, Smith & Wesson J-Frame Revolver two-inch uh, barrel and that's a perfect fit there and when I first got this I did not have to break it in it had the just the right amount of retention that I need to holster and, and deholster the uh, the uh, weapon so I had about two years worth of experience wearing this holster not for concealed carry uh, every day in the street or anything like that, but just for a convenient holster to wear around the house uh, Camping and hiking those are pretty much the three activities that I that I actually use this uh, uh, Holster for so when I first got my Smith & Wesson 642 re revolver here uh, I didn't have the specific holster for, for this particular firearm so what I winded up doing was using the Taurus holster and it fits in there just fine but it does have a little bit of wiggle room there as you can see but it still has a little bit of retention to where it's not going to come out so I did go hiking with this quite a bit uh, I went camping twice with this setup and I had no problems whatsoever. The last time I went camping, I, I did somewhat of a steep incline uh, climb on, on top of a mountain and everything was fine. No problems whatsoever. So after that, I started trolling the internet to see if I could find a Phobos holster for this particular model uh, just to have it correct because I, I didn't like it sort of jiggling in there all the time even though it was fine. And they're so cheap, uh, I could afford another one. They're like around $24 on eBay. So eBay has the same holster. And down here, it would say J357. So that particular holster could hold the smaller 2-inch barrel 357 Magnum version of the Smith & Wesson J-Frame Revolver and a 38 Special Revolver. And they're both... Uh, uh, interchangeable. The one thing I didn't like about it from looking at the pictures is notice the gap right here where the ejection rod uh, keeper there is, is located. It's kind of freewheeling there and I would imagine if 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 I brought the 357 Magnum version of that that, that does both the 38 and the 357 Magnum the 357 Magnum version of it has the uh, this this ejection this ejection rod sort of shroud around it? It, to it totally covers the whole rod in its in its uh, assembly. 
So just like that on the 357 Magnum versions of it. Whereas the 38 Special version of those uh, revolvers of the Smith & Wesson line uh, doesn't have that huge pronounced sort of shroud covering the, the uh, ejection rod there. As you can see there. So you see that gap right there on the bottom. So on eBay I seen this other version and the model is JSW with a 2 on it. J frame Smith & Wesson 2 inch barrel. And you can see that that bottom ejection rod sort of spaced there specifically made for this size here. So it fits in there just like a glove. It's just a, a tighter, cleaner look. And it covers the whole barrel completely, so I'm not going to get, you know, bumped around in this area here uh, at all. And, and it's just a better form-fitting fit there to the uh, revolver. And this thing is not moving anywhere. It is solid. So, but... If you have a 357 Magnum version of the Smith & Wesson revolver, you cannot use it like I'm trying to use the uh, Taurus here and it's not going to fit in there. So that's the only difference. It's it's petty, but you know, uh, I like my stuff to fit and, and this here is fitting here just nicely. Not a problem. I have not seen this particular model on the Phobos website. I uh, got it on eBay, like I said, so I'm thinking this is new old stock that some guy out there has selling these. And because uh, if, if you notice, this is the sort of newer version of it, and, and you can see the difference between the two. This one here has the rubber little backing there, and this is just straight plastic. You still have the same amount of rivets securing the firearm there. Let me back up a little bit and they both look almost exactly the same except for the uh, barrel profile there this one is a bit smaller uh, on the newer one it does have somewhat more reinforcing on the top rivet thing that that holds the two pieces together this piece and this piece together and you can see the uh, the little metal sort of uh, reinforcement there but after hiking many miles and, and doing yard work, you know, for two days straight on a hot summer day, sweating all over the place, I've noticed that this particular supporting sort of uh, eye beam there digs into your, your skin, uh, where it can get pretty annoying after a while. Uh, it's no big deal, but it is annoying and irritating. Whereas in this model here, the older model, doesn't have that reinforcement there. And also the uh, supporting eye beam there is more sort of flushed. It's not protruding anywhere. And I don't feel nothing there whatsoever when I wear it. I've worn it for hiking and, and camping once already. And no discomfort whatsoever. As far as the little rubber... Uh, back in there I don't notice it on any of them so to me that's just a mute point right there so it doesn't even matter to me so those are pretty much basic basically the, the differences between the two uh, of course being different model firearms but the J frame revolver Smith & Wesson is somewhat very similar to the uh, Taurus 605 or T85 38 special in a way except for it has this monstrous sort of uh, uh, barrel profile there where well, this is somewhat more sleeker and, and dainty if I would uh, if you will so to use it real quick you just fit the battle the paddle this part right here and in between either your belt and your pants or your belt and your underwear. Uh, I personally like to stick it down my pants. Put it in the position where I want it. 
And that's it. Easy peasy. Position it. And you're ready to go. I don't use this per se for for concealed carry because it does show a little bit down here. But like if I'm hiking, of course, uh, this is exactly how I wear it. And out in the woods, people expect you to be carrying anyway, so there's no problem there. And the retention is excellent. Uh, you have to sort of come straight up. To disengage it is just easy as hell. You just need to grab it and, and go straight up with it. And it, it disengages. But if somebody comes from behind you or forward or struggle to get your weapon or whatever, uh, they can't pull it out this way or that way. It needs to come straight up. Just like so. Uh, the key thing that you need to be aware of is you need a steady tight belt around you I mean but but that is the key to to making this holster work is is to have a, a good sturdy belt uh, around your waist so it, it it makes the weapon hug against you uh, really really tight and then uh, I've seen some some disastrous YouTube videos where the guy had this sagging ass belt and he's trying to 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 withdraw and, and he does it slowly so the whole thing well <laughs> I did it slowly there and it came right out but the whole belt sort of come comes up with them and then disengages or he has it so loose that the paddle just comes out of the pants altogether and as you can see there you do have some sort of like the plastic hooks that kind of go underneath your belt to kind of secure it even more but like I said the key thing is is to have a tight belt there so you won't have any problems and the almost two years that I have this type of holster I've never had a problem with drawing and when I'm at the house and there's nobody around I do the taxi driver thing with Robert De Niro and and, and withdraw constantly for practice and I never had a problem. Maybe once or twice the whole thing came out of the pants, but my belt was loose. And that was the problem. Once you tighten it up, you have no problems whatsoever. So, that's my take on this holster. A lot of people won't get no justice tonight. So a lot of people going to have to stand.